Beyond April on Earth, Broadcasting Lin Hui Yin. The reporter took a group of fans and formed a tour group to travel through the time tunnel to visit life trajectory of Lin Hui Yi. This time we use stealth technology, so contemporary people cannot see or hear us. This is the University of Cambridge in London. At this time, Ruhua and Hui Yin are walking by the lakeside, admiring the reflection on the lake in the gentle breeze and the pairs of figures on the lakeside. When she learned that his first wife Zhou Yi was coming, she was wondering whether she should cut off this abnormal relationship. Thinking that the beautiful scenery and the good stories of talented people and beautiful women in front of her were about to disappear, she couldn't help but burst into tears. Fans shouted in her ears, Sister Hui Yin, you are our idol and a model of free love in the early Republic of China. Your every move will affect hundreds of years to come. The woman in first love must be cautious when choosing a married man. Perhaps she heard the call of her fans, so she wrote a farewell letter to Yiramol that night and left without saying goodbye the next day. At this time, Rumo was still thinking proudly in his heart about the poem, Farewell Cambridge. Fans praised her one after another. Then, reporters and fans came to the second key scene, the living room of Srichung and Huiyin as home. At this time, Huiyin was thinking about whether to confess to her husband and tell him that she seemed to have fallen in love with two people at the same time, Vichung and Yearly. Fans, more than 40 years later, there is a champion pop song in the American music industry called Torn Between Two Lovers, which describes your current state of mind. Sister Yin was more than 40 years ahead of her time. During the experiment of free love in the early Republic of China, she was the first to experience it. After listening to Huiyin's courageous confession to him, Si Ching's original doubts turned into surprise, and he fell silent. He knew that he never really loved him. He is not as talented as Zhermoa, nor as tender as Yearly. Surrounded by powerful neighbors, he is at most just an architect from the famous Liang family. Despite the opposition of most family members, he still married this talented and beautiful woman whose personality was different from his own under the arrangement of his father. He always doubted whether the marriage that his father Lang Chi Chao vigorously promoted was the curse of his life. Fans, Brother Su Chung, thank you for your hard work. You represent an example of how to deal with your beloved wife confessing to falling in love with someone else during the experiment of free love in the early Republic of China. In the battle between heaven and man for possession and perfection, you must not fall. Su Chung paced around the living room for a long time, having already finished a cup of tea and still holding it in his hand. He stopped let out a long sigh and finally said slowly to his beloved wife, Well, it's up to you to decide. If you choose him, I will agree to divorce you. The vast majority of fans silently praised his generosity, but there were also many expressions of surprise and anger. At this time, Yaline appeared. He is a trial marriage advocate and has also lived with others. But after Liang Lin got married, because of his deep love for Hui Yin, he decided not to marry for the rest of his life. He moved to the vicinity of Liang Mansion and took care of her at all times. He is the only guest who can enter the Liang family's living room without permission. In fact, Yu Lin had already come in and heard the conversation between the couple behind the screen. Although he did not have the encouragement from fans, he still bravely said what everyone expected. I don't want to break up your marriage and make Queen suffer and be reviled by the world, so just let me leave. So he quit resolutely. Compared with his senior buddy Xu Jirmo, Junior Lin was able to retreat bravely at the last moment and avoid family tragedy. A few sympathetic fans also gave him a like. But after that, he actually stayed around and never left. 
When Lu Yim went to Su Chan to recuperate, the person who accompanied him was not Su Chung, but Yerlin. Perhaps their relationship at that time had transformed into a brother-sister relationship. Under the careful care of her husband and Yilin, Othi Yin barely survived her frail and sick life. She died at the age of 51 and became the first beautiful woman with outstanding performance in architectural art in the early Republic of China. After Huayin's death, although Alin remained unmarried for the rest of his life, he often had trial marriages and had quite a few Chinese and foreign girlfriends. Su Chung missed his beloved wife, but he finally relieved the Chinese people's expectations of love and the pressure on him. Seven years later, at the age of 61, he renewed his relationship and married Lin Zhu, finally finding love that was undisturbed and cared for. It can be regarded as a small reward for his years of forbearance and concession.